Yes, check my test. Okay, our topic for we just finished the uh, brain. Okay, I want to share with you a media ministry testimony because uh, we like stories, right? You are all tired of uh, lectures, so I will tell you a story. <laughs> just one more story before the day closed. <clears throat> So I really like media ministry because it helped me uh, strengthen my faith. I don't know why it says the you the the thing that strengthens your faith, you also want to use it to strengthen other people's faith. No wonder I was spending a lot of money for media ministry. I wonder why. I am crazy. I'm buying so many DVDs, cameras, and uh, so on, tables, etc. And then. Now I when I read that passage from Ellen White, now I understood because uh, I was watching and listening to sermons in the U.S. in GYC or Diverse, and then my my faith becomes strong, and then I want also to use media ministry to strengthen other people's faith. If you if you came to Jesus with Bible study, you also want to. Some of my friends came to Jesus because of Bible study, and they want to use Bible study also to, to get others from Jesus. But I'll tell you one uh, unique story, because in the book Evangelism, it says that you should uh, have results. <laughs> Even one soul in your ministry decides to follow Jesus, it will be success thou. So I have one time... My friends, I uploaded something in my channel. How come it doesn't become big? Yeah. And I forgot to uh, hide it because I'm supposed not to show it. But I was so in a hurry, I forgot to hide it. And when I came back after teaching, I saw, Ui, there's a comment. And then I, I realized I did not hide the video. That's why the title of the video has X. <laughs> because I was not supposed to... Uh, I was supposed to edit it uh, or to post it later. It was the Sabbath school uh, lesson during the pandemic, I think that was. So there was no church uh, in PIC. We were just editing the videos and recording. But I talked alone. I talked long, long time, and it doesn't fit in 35 <laughs> minutes in PIC. And especially when I like this, the lesson, I talk. So I have to edit and remove all my comments until everything that remains are just the Bible verses. Because you know what? Bible verse is the most important. It's that is where the power comes from. Then we have the spirit of prophecy, and very powerful. And then we have my stories and uh, whatever. So I was surprised after a few hours, five hours, I went to check my computer. He said, I want to get baptized. Oh, I was so shocked, my friends. I have joined many media ministries, my Jason knows. I have spent lots of, I have lots of cameras helping others and have, uh, has allowed me to allow, to, to see the effects, the thousands of people coming to the church because of the ministries that we are helping. I have never ex uh, heard of upload in five hours and somebody wants to be baptized, yeah? Now I am wondering, how come? You know what, the background story about this is that they assigned me, so I just replied like this. They assigned me to have a difficult topic in PIC. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what? When they assign you, you have to uh, obey. And I really like the topic. You know what the topic is? Sabbath. The most difficult topic to discuss is the most to the, the topic that people claim that they came to the church because they heard that topic. Because I have a, what we call capital versicle before. We spent the whole Sabbath, full afternoon, just listening to testimonies that came to the church, they were baptized that year. It's thousands and hundreds. And I was observing the testimonies. 80% of them say, because we have a question, what, which topic did you listen to that you decide to come to the church? 80% of them say it's the Sabbath. So I'm wondering, the Sabbath is the most uh, uh, difficult topic to discuss, yeah? So that was the topic. Uh, you see, there is X. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> it's supposed to be unlisted. You see, we learned that Pasamba dash X. This, I just, but I forgot to hide the video. 
And uh, they're just 25 years. After six hours, there's somebody wants to be baptized. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> after two weeks, uh, after one week, uh, two weeks that was, uh, when that video was aired in PIC, uh, at night, I opened the uh, Facebook and I found out she got baptized already. No, no, no. She was just sending, I, I sent, she sent me a message. But during the airing of that video, he was getting baptized already by God's grace, very fast. So he, I'm wondering what kind of... I mean, I'm, I'm nobody. I have theology, like Mom Jason. I don't know anything. I'm just... Uh, even my sentences are not complete. Did you notice? <laughs> well, I just, just the idea is there is enough. So I'm wondering what happened. So I found the pastor. That is Pastor Seth Magas, Mom Jason. And uh, she, that's her. She is very happy. And after two weeks, she said, "Good day. I was baptized in, in, in the 19th, something, etc." And then, where is your picture? <laughs> you know, I asked for picture, and then she saw the picture. She is there. Okay, December 19th. The video is. Where is the video? November 30, about two weeks, three, three weeks, yeah? takes time to edit. So, what was the topic? The topic is this one, the most difficult. I think you will not, uh, you will hate me after this one. But this topic, even if you hate me, I will tell you that this topic is the only topic that can bring a baptism in few hours. You can talk about grace, etc. Whole day, whole night, one year, nobody comes. But when you talk about God's law, hey, 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 my friends, it's very powerful. More powerful than the one who is talking. So, so this is my topic. And if you want, now, it is about technology. Yeah? You know, I grew up in Adventist school. I was born in the school. I grew up in the school. My parents were working in the school. I know all the excuses we have for this one. I know. I grew up as an Adventist in the school, and I still am stuck here. So, but with technology, we can research what is the truth. Because we know what we hear. What they hear, they also say. Nobody, record, nobody bothered to check what is the official stand. I know you're from Africa, you're good people. We, we in the Philippines, we are confused. <laughs> nobody knows we're not supposed to cook on Sabbath. Everybody cooks. But you in Africa, you are, you are from, you, are, you will be ahead. Because you already know, yeah? You know how to read the Bible, yeah? I heard that uh, it should teach us. So if you look in the Bible, look in Ellen G. White could write this, you look in Adventist.org, official website, you can search. If without technology, you don't know. You will only know what the pastor tells you. If the pastor's wife is cooking also, he will not tell you, <laughs> right? That's why we don't know. I was thinking that maybe the missionaries did not tell us, but I realized my grandfather was strict in that. Okay. Then he forgot. That's why the fourth commandment starts with remember. Because God knows Filipinos are very forgetful. Okay, if you look at Adventist biblical research, you can go internet. Without the technology, you cannot uh, research, yeah? You cannot find the official. You know, I used to debate the people who teach this, because I debate also. But I had to look for official statement to have real points. I couldn't find any. I know I had known all the excuses we have, but I so I had to change my my anomaly. I had to change my position because I cannot have position that is not official. Yeah, some theologians say say say, but they are not official. Okay, I research. God used technology to bring the truth. So I'm not, okay, I'm looking because I want to debate that guy who was teaching this. I had to find an official statement that says you can cook on Sabbath. I cannot find. What I found, everything it says do not cook on Sabbath. So, um, so the question is how to help people? Because people want to obey. But people are stressed because their food is spoiled. <laughs> they don't know what to do. So now I think my calling in life, Pastor, is to take you know, examples 
how the Africans do it. Hey, I found the. Uh, so, my friends, if you want to see the NDUC, God provides through different ways. He provides from Adventist Mission.org, NDUC. Oh, the Tagalog document that says, ang pagkain ay dapat nakahanda na bago lumubog ang araw. Oh. So, we just forgot in the NDUC document. PLC Bible? Okay, all the official things. And then I collected the tips that I heard from many, many people. And yeah. So, I you know that after this topic, people are angry with me. Because in the Philippines, everybody disobeyed. Now they are ready to stone me. That's why, <laughs> that's why there, now there, there is excuses there. So, this is the official statement buying, okay? I'm very fast because this is not our topic, but you know that it is there, Adventist Biblical Research, docsadventist.org, uh, LNG White. It is, uh, should be cooked the day before. For you in apartment, no problem, you have ref, yeah? Just put in ref. That's why I'm not afraid to preach here, because you have ref. And you have banana. Banana, you know, it doesn't spoil two days. And bread. Okay, there is a list prepared the day before. See, in cold weather, the food prepared the day before. Some people do not know how to read uh, prepared the day before. Anyway, we are here to teach. How about the fundamental business book? Do you have, have you seen this book, official book? Yellow, the blue. Okay, oh, so you help me get a copy of this one. I think there are many in the library. Yeah? So, believe that is what they said, and the family's meal should be okay, cool. There are many people who are quoting Bible just to pervert. You see this? Pervert. To make it look like it's not uh, prohibited. But, Ellen White Church, we should not speak lightly on the restrictions that God has put about cooking. Okay, so what this, this lady, her husband doesn't want to become Adventist because he doesn't want to eat stale food. <laughs> but she got, he got baptized also. This is Tagalog document. This is the NPU's Tagalog document I found in uh, one church there. And then CLC, this is the question and answer in CLC in the Bible that we give to, you uh, know. And amazing facts, they're just copying uh, from Ellen G. White also. And uh, yeah, we have to be careful about people who are speaking perverse things. You know what, I don't think anybody intends to disobey God. Everybody, I just want to assume, everyone wants to obey, everyone wants to obey. We were misinformed before, and we are misinforming others because we are not checking, using the technology. But everybody wants to obey, that's why we help each other. Okay, my friends. It says here, those who neglect to pray the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment and are transgressors. About uh, about doctors, no problem. Just healed on the Sabbath. About sweeping the street in GYD. Wilson said you should not sweep the street on GYD during Sabbath. Okay. This is anybody from Angola? Nobody? You know you have mana in Angola. There is mana in Angola. You just Google SID mana Angola and you will see that. Uh, the, the Sabbath we keep is the Sabbath that Moses kept before. And many friends from Angola. Okay, how about traveling? Avoid. Don't go to a concert and use Sabbath hours just to go to non-religious concert. That's the, that's the quotation. Oh, unholy discussions. Taking a bath. Ha, Jesus said, you go and take a bath to the blind man. Wash yourself in the pool. No problem, yeah? Ellen White washed herself many times. This is the uh, references. After sermon, etc. How about camping? Okay, it is there. Let us not, it's the same. No problem. How about, uh, how do, what is the technique to prepare? Now, this is my analysis. This is my observation. I. In my in the, all the testimonies, about 80% claim that the topic they decided to come to the church is the Sabbath. About 20%, sorry, it's the total is 110. <laughs> about uh, the rest, it's about Leviticus 11. Baboy, you know Baboy? Uh, hug. 
when they hear, when they read in the Bible, they look for people who are obeying, and they see that Adventists are obeying, they come to the church. And the rest, when they study the church doctrine, you know, the characteristics of the true church, when they see that in the Bible, they look for it, and they find it. You know what is the... So I pray to God, what is the explanation, Lord? Why is the most difficult topics are the ones that really get the people to the truth, and even very fast when, up, when uploaded, yeah? When I'm so afraid about the things I post, then God sends baptism in five hours. <clears throat> this is my explanation from the Bible, because I may, even the explanation has to be from the Bible. The law of the Lord is perfect. Wow. Converting the soul. See, what does convert the soul? Habab. The law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. Try to find in the whole Bible what converts the soul. It is the law of the Lord. Psalm 19.7. Yeah? Okay. Ma'am, I should I continue or uh, I'm finished? 16 minutes. Uh, 16. She said only 15 minutes. I, I over. <laughs> okay, maybe next time the other stories. Okay, because uh, it's so exciting. Anyway, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to listen to, to see how you work, uh, even if we don't know what to do and we are afraid of the consequences. We only ask that you, Lord, help us to be faithful, even if uh, it is becoming, it makes us unpopular. Help us to just follow what your word says and give us wisdom and understanding to do your work. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.